believe that she could get away with defying constitutional law makes her an even stupider bigot than I've ever than any other stupid Christian that I've seen. So frankly, you know, I think the verdict was not surprising, and I really think that Davis should have seen this coming. And <laughs> I think it's just hilarious. Now I can just because I'm going to be watching because I guarantee you that there's going to be more bigoted Christians like her that are going to be coming out screaming, "Oh, this is a violation of our constitutional rights. This is a violent. This is infringement upon our religious freedom." I'm sure she'll probably get a couple of politicians like Ted Cruz and a few other dumb numb skulls to join her cause, and she'll probably continue to march and protest like other like-minded friggin' homophobes and everybody else but essentially it's a lost cause you know she can bitch and whine all she wants but essentially it comes right down to a very simple fact whether you were elected or whether you were hired by an employer you're required to do your job and the duties of that job in this case she's been elected to the clerk county clerk's office of Rowan County Kentucky that clerk's office basically issue has the duties and stuff like that of issuing legal documents including marriage licenses and that now that the Supreme Court has ruled that marriage is legal across the land regardless of gender you have to issue marriage licenses to gay and lesbian couples no ifs ands or buts do your damn job and like any other job you leave your religious beliefs and your personal beliefs and your political beliefs at the door. For instance, I used to work at Carl's Jr. Do you think that I was allowed to express my religious, political, or any other personal beliefs at work? No. Why? Because number one, it's inappropriate. You are in a, prof in a professional work environment. You're there to do a job. I cannot necessarily, for instance, if I was Muslim, for example, I can't ne necessarily not sell somebody, um, that's a bad example, uh, Hindu, let's go with Hindu. If I, I was Hindu, I can't necessarily not sell someone a burger because of my religious beliefs. I'm there to do a job, and well, quite frankly, the main thing you do at that job is while well, you're selling people fat uh, you know food at a you know marketed price that is basically cheap and it is a cheap commodity which is beef the same is true for a clerk's office you are there to do a job you are there to issue legal documents and those legal documents that probably quite a large percentage of it includes marriage documents so therefore, you are required by law to issue those regardless of your religious beliefs. Just because you may not believe in divorce because it goes against your religious values doesn't mean you couldn't, that you aren't allowed to, it doesn't mean that you would be uh, exempt from granting divorce papers. And it's the same when it comes to marriage licenses. You cannot discriminate against anybody regardless of their race, gender, their sexual orientation, or their religion, or their political views, etc., just because it conflicts with your views. Again, you are there to do a job, do your job, or get out and find a new one. And you can bitch about your livelihood, you can bitch about how your religious freedom is being taken away, but it's your choice at the end of the day. It's your choice that you wanted to be a fucking bitch about it. It's your choice that you did not want to do your job. And when I and so at the end of the day, it's basically your choice that you choose to resign or get fired or do your job as required by law and just learn to shut the hell up. You can bitch about whatever you want about how bad your job sucks like everybody else does when you get off the clock. But if you don't comply with the legal standards, which being in a county clerk's office, I'm assuming, 
you're under the pretty much under the thumb of the bourgeois legal system so and are there to basically provide documents that are substantiated by law you are required to do that job <laughs> so again do your job I also think it's kind of funny because it's because there is also a level of hypocrisy here Kim Davis represents that very authoritarian right-wing Christian hegemonic side of the American socio-political spectrum she represents a group of people that think that th that they don't have to do their job that they don't have to do you know that they can just sit back and not do shit because oh well, this offends me because this goes against my religious beliefs yet these are the same people that probably bitch about a single mother who's working two to three jobs tr you know trying to make ends meet can barely pay rent and and take care of her children and yet those and yet those mothers are called moochers